This song, Lady Picture Show by STP, is uh, probably one of my favorite STP songs. Um, today we're doing this on acoustic guitar. It's more for an electric, but we're going to do it for acoustic guitar. So you're, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your guitar is tuned up uh, to standard tuning. And this is going to be a low E. So we're going to jump into this and we'll do the breakdown after that. Oh, also I'll be laying a uh, bass track over the acoustic guitar line so um, you guys will hear the bass come in in a second. Here we go. mistake on one part. First chord you're going to do though. There we go. 
first chord you're going to do is you're going to play basically it's an E major chord. The 7th fret on the A string. 6th fret on the D. 4th fret on the G string. And uh, open B and open high E string. If you want to hit the low E, you can. So that's the first chord. I hear him on the recording going back and forth between these two chords. Um, the first time I hear it, I hear the 6th fret on the A string, 4th fret on the D, 4th uh, fret on the B, uh, excuse me, the G, and the 4th fret on the B string, and then a, an open high E. And it's kind of tricky to, to, uh, to play it like that. So how I play it is I, uh, I basically bar the uh, D and G strings with my index finger. And then I uh, play the G, uh, the B string with my middle finger. That way I'm able to hit that high E when I can. It's a little bit tricky. So I hear that uh, vary between, it goes between this one and it goes between just a uh, much easier way to play it, which is just the 6th fret on the A string, uh, the 4th fret on the D and the B, and then the, ho uh, the D and the G, and then the open, the open B and the and I hear him playing it this way live. Uh, he always plays it this way live. So. Next chord is going to be it's an A major chord. So you're playing your open A string, 7th fret on the D string, 6th fret on the G, 5th on the G. Uh, the first time he goes into the chorus, he plays the, um, the A chord like this. Uh, so he has the 7th fret on the B and E string barred, uh, high, the high E string. And he does a hammer-on pull-off from the 7th fret on the high E string to the 9th fret. Excuse me, not the 7th fret, the 5th fret to the 7th fret. Kind of lost my frets here. So, and then before it goes into the chorus, that's going to be a, uh, let's see, it was a C sharp 7, C sharp 7 bar chord. So that's going to be barring the entire 9th fret, uh, and then you're going to play the 11th fret on the A string. Still barring the 9th fret on the D string. Uh, you're going to play the 10th fret on the G string, and then you're still barring the 9th fret on the uh, B and E strings, the high B and E strings. So, and every once in a while I'll throw in that uh, extra note there that's the 12th fret on the B string. right here. This chord right here is going to be the 9th fret on the A string, 7th fret on the D string, 9th fret again on the G string, and the 10th fret on the E string. Oh, and then you're also going to play the high E open. Now you're playing a B7 chord. It's a bar chord. Same thing, you're adding that, um, now you're going to add the 10th fret on the B string every once in a while. This is a major, uh, an E major chord. So you're uh, playing the 7th fret on the A string, 6th uh, fret on the D string, 4th fret on the G string, uh, let's see here, 5th fret on the B, and 4th fret on the high E string. And you go to this chord here, and that's going to be the 6th fret on the A string, 4th fret on the D string, 5th fret on the G string, and 4th fret on the B and E string. It's basically a uh, G sharp 7, but without that low G in there, that low G sharp. to the verse.
first. Oh, and the first time he hits this chord, I forgot to mention uh, in the intro of the song, on the recorded version at least. First time he hits it, um, it's the fifth fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D string, and seventh fret on the G string, and then he's also playing the uh, open B and E strings. He only does that the first time. Uh, the way I hear it on the record, uh, the record, he just hits it that one time, and then every other time after that, it's now uh, five, four, and six, sixth fret on the G string. time it hits it, all other times, then it goes back to the verse. Okay, so that takes care of that riff. Now the bridge where the solo is playing is going to be... Alternating between this chord, which is just you're just fretting the seventh fret on the D string, and you're going to play the sixth fret on the G string, and the other strings from the A string and down the A, B, and E. And then you add this extra note in, which is the seventh fret on the B string. to the an E major chord. This is a C, a C sharp minor seventh, which is the fourth fret on the A string, sixth fret on the D string, fourth fret again on the G, fifth fret on the B, and Excuse me, minor chord. minor chord. You're barring all of the second fret except the A and D string, which are fretted at the fourth, fourth fret. You play that and basically move this entire pattern over two frets to the uh, G sharp position. This is basically an A major bar chord, but instead of barring all of the 5th fret, you're leaving the high B and high E open. Same with this one. You just moved everything over 2 frets to the B. And that's the, that's the entire song. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you know, leave them in the comment box. Uh, if you have any, if you want to see the solo played, uh, let me know and I'll do a part two of this video. Thanks a lot.